God has brought you here together to be united in his love, joined in holy matrimony with faith in God above. Let your faith guide your lives with a measure of God's grace. For this is what keeps love strong through whatever you may face. Keep building your marriage on the foundation of Christ. It will not crumble or give way through the daily pressures of life. But it will stand the test of time, growing stronger day by day. Just keep your hearts truly united, joined as one when you pray. patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offence and is not resentful. baby that I held in my arms um, immediately after he was born, 28 and a bit years ago, um, very loud and crying, in fact he didn't seem to want to be born, and um, disturbed the whole maternity section in Royal North Shore Hospital. It's very difficult, I guess, in some ways for me to accept that he, from today, is also a married man and commencing his married life with um, the beautiful Alicia. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the gospel of Christ? To family and friends gathered here today, will you continue to love and support you and the least and welcome their marriage to each other? I think they could do better than that. <laughs> Yeah. 
continue to love and support you and Liz and welcome their marriage to each other. We will. Will you do whatever you can to uphold and encourage the marriage of you and you? May God, the Almighty Father, give you joy and bless you. Amen. May the only Son of God have mercy on you and help you in good times and in bad. May the Holy Spirit of God always fill your hearts with his love. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May God, who brings all love, to birth and completion. Bless and keep you all the days of your life. May God, who has been with us in all our joys and sorrows, be ever faithful and strong for you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Hugh and Elise Lenahan. So, if you could please do me a favour, stand, raise your glass, be it your beer, your wine, or your tea, Maria, <laughs> and raise the human Elise. together and although we didn't go to high school together we maintained a friendship that went through high school, uni and now working life. So as you can imagine I've had a fair bit of time to accumulate some stories of which I will read chronologically and in detail. Unfortunately, I needed to run and buy the bride, and this is all the <laughs> spent every teenage summer either going to the beach, playing some kind of sport at the local park and drinking, non-alcoholic beverages of course, at Laura Bossard's parties. <laughs> Hugh went on to do extremely well in his HSC, getting into medical science, then onto dentistry. Obviously, he had to work very hard to achieve this, but as you, as you can imagine, had to make some sacrifices along the way. I think Anyone that's close to here knows that general knowledge is not his strong point. <laughs> I remember having a conversation with him about the movie Looking for Ella Brandy, where he noted the outstanding performance of a young Tia Maria. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, Tia Miranda was in Looking for Ella Brandy. Tia Maria is a chocolate flavoured oven. <laughs> with you and making you very happy. I love you more and more each day. 
you look very beautiful tonight. And I know I will always be happy as long as you are clinging on to my shirt. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a great day. Joy, tears, and excitement. Three cheers for the wedding couple. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip, hip.